Got a bunch of old shirts you love but don't wear anymore? Cut them out into patches. I got this super cheap Walmart dress. After a long night of sewing, you got a dress. some safety pins and I was putting it around my bucket hat to like add a little something extra and I already did this to one of my gloves it's so cute okay so I added some safety pins at the bottom and I took my scissors and I kind of just like dragged it back and forth to make these kind of rigid edges and this is the hat this love has taken dress on Poshmark a while back and I decided now's the time. It reminded me of Manasama, so I decided to do a Lolita inspired look. As I said in my last video, I get my lace from Lace Heaven. I pinned the lace along the edges of the white boxy part. It's not perfect, you can fix it while you're sewing. I also decided to add the lace to the sleeves and to the bottom of the dress. This applique is also from Lace Heaven. It doesn't quite fit, so I had to fold it over, but it's fine, it'll work out. Cream thread, I'm unsure from where. My 99 cent store needles. I wanted to make sure it was a really close stitch, so I sewed it to the hem that already existed. And then on the inside, I decided to add black to the hem that already existed, just for a layered look. Here's the finished look.
So recently I've really been loving these shorts that are like ripped and they have chains on them but we're not gonna buy from a site like Dolls Kill so we're gonna DIY them. I already had these bleach shorts but I wanted to dye them neon green. Is that acrylic paint? Yes, but we have textile medium which will turn that into a fabric dye since I'm not, I don't have neon green fabric dye. So you want to fill the bucket up with just enough water to get your garment soaked. You don't want to add too much because it will dilute your paint or dye or whatever. Yes, we're going to use that whole entire thing, baby. Maybe even two because it's lime water and you want it to be super pigmented. You'll add about half a thing of textile medium, not like this whole entire thing, but just enough to get it like not just paint water. Ooh, that's so satisfying. So while I waited for that to just kind of soak up and die, I had this black chain and all these little cross charms, but they were silver, so I decided to paint them to match. And yes, I just used acrylic paint. So stay tuned for part two, where I take a look at how this turned out. Woohoo! All right, so you guys wanted part two. Here are the shorts after I took them out of the dryer. They're a little bit lighter than I expected them to be, but that's okay, because they're still bright and green. Let's add chains. You're gonna wanna measure out where you want your chains to go on your shorts before you do any cutting of the links. So just get that measured out, do it on the other side, bada bing, woo hoo. So the next thing that you are gonna need is a pair of needle nose pliers. This part absolutely sucks getting all of the links open. You might even need a wrench if it's too hard for you, but you only need it to open like that much so you can just stab it with the sharp object, get it back in there, and then secure it by using the pliers to get it back together. Do the whole damn thing, do it on the other side, woo hoo. I also found that I had a bunch of studs lying around that I wanted to use for another project, but I have these. So these are really simple. You just stab them through the fabric and then you just push them back with the pliers. Crosses. These are a lot easier to open than chain links, but we need a part three, so I'll see. This is the finished product of the shorts. They did take me a little bit to finish with the crosses, but oh my god, I love them. And the details. Ah! I cannot wait to wear these out. They even still fit really nice. Oh my god! I don't cook, I don't clean, but let Aye. me tell you, I got Aye. this ring. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down the side of me, quick jump out for you, let it get inside of me. I tell him where to put it, never tell him where I'm about to be. I run down on the bar, I have a nigga running me, talk your shit, bite your lip, ask for a call while you ride that dick. You really ain't never got him fucking for a thing, he already made his mind out for a king. Now get your boots, hang your coat. Where can we start? We like them dumb and we like them smart. I like the ones with the pretty eyes. Well, I like all kinds of guys. Stop. What happened? How about the ones we especially like? Which one? You know Here's how I made this bunny mask. It's super simple. I put some pink opaque tights on my head, mark where my eyes were, cut, and then pulled. I also added a lot of safety pins. You can put them in the shape of a smile. You can make them look like piercings. Just fucking go crazy. I added some red paint because I really like the look of school animals and gloomy bears. And I also wanted to mimic how I do my makeup. So I lined the eyes. I add some freckles, put some triangle lashes. Just put what makes you feel happy. I put some hair ties on the top of the ears to define them a bit more. And the eyebrows are actually stickers so I can change them out if I want to. Do at me if you do this.